Italy, so we continue lectures on calculus. Today's lecture is about one-sided lengths. When we calculated limits numerically, then we tried x values slightly bigger than the value that x values approach and slightly smaller. But sometimes we need only to do it one way, only x values which are slightly bigger or only x values which are slightly smaller. Now, if we try, if we try only x values which are slightly uh, smaller than the given value, so if we try only x values which are slightly smaller than the given value. For example, only x only x equals 1.9, which is slightly smaller than 2, and then 1.99, 1.999, 1 and we do not try x values which are slightly larger, so like 2.1 and 2.01, so we only try this, and we find that the function values approach something, that the function values f of x approach something, This result that they are approaching is called right hand, sorry, it's called left hand. The result is called left hand limit. There is a special notation for this. We put limit L I M f of x function notation and here we put x approaches a minus this x minus here doesn't mean that a, a minus here doesn't mean that it, it's a negative number it means a for example 2 minus something small like 2 minus something small is 1.9 or 2 minus something small is 1.99 using specific example it will be like limit as x approaches 2 minus x cubed minus 8 over x minus 2. So this notation or this notation is called a left hand limit. It's like only half of the job that we did for regular limit. Now, on the other side, we may, we may decide or we may want to only plug in slightly larger values. Like in this case, if x approaches 2, then instead of plugging in both larger and smaller, we plug in only larger, such as x equals 2.1 and 2.01 and 2.001, etc. And if we do that and again find that f of x approaches something, then the result will be called a right hand limit. So maybe I will erase everything only what is changing. So if we decide that the x values that we want to try are only slightly larger than the given value, for example only 2.1 and then 2.01 and then 2.001 etc. And again function values approach something, then the result is called a right f. It's like the other half of the job. And the notation for the right hand limit, it will be a plus here and here. Once again, 2 plus doesn't mean positive 2. I mean, it is positive 2, but it doesn't mean that. It means 2 plus something extra. Like, for example, 2.1, it's 2 plus some small extra. And 2.01, it's 2 plus something, something extra. So this is the notation for the right hand limit. Now, if these two, uh, in, in, in many examples, these two limits
limits are equal, the results of these two limits are equal. And if they are equal, then they, we say that the regular limit equals this number. So if the two one-sided limits are equal to each other, Limit x approaches 0 plus of absolute value x over x equals 1. 
Now for the second problem, if we do the same, we need to change the uh, we don't need to change the function, it's the same function, but we do need to change the x values. So go second table and press delete to erase the previous x values and type minus 0.1 and the answer is negative 1. Minus 0.1, minus 0.01, minus 0.201, minus 0.301. The answer will be negative 1. And again, it's quite clear why. Right? Because, for example, for negative 0.1, absolute value of a negative number, it's the, you just drop the minus sign, and drop the minus sign, so absolute value of negative 1, negative 0.1 will be just 0.1. And then when you divide it by x, x in itself is negative, so 0 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.1 equals negative 1. 0 0.01 divided by negative 0 0.01, again negative 1. So it will always be negative 1. And again, they, since they stay the same, that means they approach negative 1. So the function will approach negative 1. And so this limit equals negative 1. And as you can see, these two answers actually do not match. So left hand limit and right hand limit, they, don't, they are not the same, they do not match. And uh, once again, since they do not match, then the two-sided limit, the regular limit, does not have a value. You may say that maybe we just average them up and say that that limit equals zero, but no, we don't do that in mathematics. We just say that this limit is undefined. Say, uh, undefined. Or does not exist. Like we already had such situation. Since the, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit do not match. So, one is not equal to negative one. So that's an example of uh, two one-sided limits which do not match each other.